Now let's go back to the end of last year. You defended your yes. golden belt against Tun Tun yeah. Min. Where would that? Where would you rank that uh, performance? Well, yeah, we didn't speak since that uh, I was in the tour, and then yeah, I was going there. So basically, we had two weeks to train. Um, for those of, uh, that followed a bit, I was uh, I just fought in August, and uh, I won, and then I was going on a tour in Europe and uh, you know Iceland, Spain, Turkey, all across uh, uh, the world, and then um, basically Tatumin, who was coming back from his injury that he got from fighting me in 2016. Um, from you know, he basically said, "Okay, I, you got a draw with Sayak." He's like, "Okay, I'm ready. I'm I'm ready to challenge uh, it again." Like, yeah, I knew it was coming. Like I told you before, I knew it was coming in the back of my mind, and uh, but I just didn't know when. And yeah, and then you know, uh, he basically because uh, it's very politics in Myanmar. Like you have to uh, be approved by the Myanmar. Uh, Maybe I'm, I'm our traditional boxing federation. So then he said, "Okay, I, I want to challenge him." And then, as the champ, you as you have in Latour, you have to accept the challenge. And then there, the uh, I said, "Guys, I'm in the middle of a tour, uh, making good money. Like you know, uh, I'm, I want to train a decent training camp for this. It's going to be the biggest fight in Latour ever." So uh, you know, say, so, "Yeah, they, you're fighting in December, or we have to strip you." I'm like, "Well, I didn't honestly. I just wanted to be champ when I was younger, and now I've done it." I don't need 25 belts to be happy. I have, you know, I have three belts. I'm good. Um, and uh, but this thing, it was more of an ego thing. I'm like, I have to fight him, otherwise I'm gonna, I'm gonna regret it for the rest of my life. It has to happen before I retire. And uh, so I'm like, you know what? Let's go. And came back to Dubai after the tour. I uh, got a, I got a, an injury uh, like uh, before the fight. Like when I went to Dubai, I was supposed to start right away, and uh, couldn't walk for a week. So basically, trained two weeks for the fight. Good training. I got a a, a friend of mine uh, from Norway came to train with me. Uh, you know, Coach Mari really gave me a good a good solid week, two weeks, and then the fight happened. And uh, yeah, so basically, um, they, it's very yeah. They even sent me a letter, like a really stamped letter, official uh, BMR government saying that you know. Uh, if if I if I don't go there, they're basically gonna make a fight with Tutumin and somebody else to to be the new open weight champion. Like, there's no I work too hard for this. There's no fucking way they're gonna they're gonna take that one away that easily, right? So uh, I know that we defended six or seven times. So uh, there's too much hard work and sweat and blood behind this. So uh, I'm like, no, I'm gonna retire when I want, and I'm gonna give the belt uh, when I want. And uh, basically, the big trash talk. It's not like in America, uh, you know. The big trash talk was basically, he said, well, uh, I don't think Dave has enough power to knock me out with his hands. You don't have enough power in your punch. And then for, and then when I replied to me more times, I said, well, I don't care. I don't need my hands. I just need my elbows. And uh, that's what happened, actually. So I I, I, uh, I, I backed up my words. Yeah. As what it was, yeah. Where does it rank, basically? It was... Uh, but well, for for media perspective and sponsorship perspective, and you know purse everything, it was the biggest fight in Latvia history, and uh, all the news were crazy about it. The, it was live on national television. Basically, you know, pretty much the whole uh, country was on a standstill for that that fight because he was. It was supposed to be his big comeback. You know, like no joke. The country is very uh, is very Buddhist, very Muslim as well, and. Um, the he's muslim and basically it was it was a bit of a like a, a religious clash in a way he's like they 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 it was uh, all him behind him me I, me and my religion is love i just love everybody it doesn't matter you know and uh but uh, then the if there's a first time it was the first time that uh, the whole stadium was pretty much like if you re, if you watch the live stream it was like tun tun min tun tun min so it was to be honest it was a very hard um like a moment for me to realize, okay, it's me and my Sifu in the crowd right now. Like that's it. It's me and my Sifu. And the, no, I remember watching in the and in, in when I was waiting for him in the ropes. I always wait in the ropes, and uh, I see one of his fans look at me right in my eyes, and he's like, "Dun dun man!" I'm like, and I I really for once in my for the first time I really saw myself like maybe maybe you know maybe i get dropped maybe i get knocked out maybe something happens you know because he he's gonna swim for the you know for the fence and he he's a fucking tank so you know i, I was ready for it and uh i just shook it i shook that that i shook that uh bad thought and uh you know i i just focused on my my elbow connecting on the temple i focus i see i visualized and then it came back my the confidence really really was there when when the ring bell the the the, the bell rang 
And uh, but it it really was the most important fight of my life. And I, I know it's long. It's a long uh, comment, but. The reason is because when we fought in 2016, John, um, you know, I was I was a beginner, like a, a beginner, to not beginner, but I had you know 10 fights, and they lied on my record saying that I was I had 40 fights because it didn't look good. It, it didn't look good if the, the you know the, that that guy with 10 fights knock wins against the 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 little legend, right? Well, that's the main thing I want to show that I had to adapt very fast, like I said, adapt in life, adapt or die. And uh, in only, you know, seven or nine fights, I had to adapt to his level of, you know, 60 KOs and 60 fights in Litway, three generation of Litway fighters. Um, so, uh, yeah, I was like, you know what? It's not going to be the same Dave. You know, I, to be honest, the first fight, if people want to watch it, you know, it, it was the first three rounds or the first two rounds, he, you know, he dropped not he dropped me. It was it was hard. And uh, I had to show resilience for this. And then I came back to the end of the fight. I knocked him down and everything. So it was it was a it was a hard fight. And if you look at the, the other one, you know, he's he's uh, he's my he's 26. I'm 27. We're like really both ready. He trained months for that fucking fight i trained two weeks i'm you know i was uh i'm very focused in business right now as well and but i really want to make sure i give him his money i give him for his money so i was there and i fucking connected the, my first headbutt knocked down and my uh a big ko in the first round so i i know and he knows now 